Now we will add vSpace Client for Windows to the same old Windows XP PC and show you how well it can run Windows 7 as a virtual desktop access device. First, let's install the vSpace Client software we will need on this PC so we can connect to the vSpace server and access our Windows 7 virtual desktop. The client installs just like any other application on XP. We accept the licensing agreement, accept the default for the installation, and it is done in just a few seconds. Once it starts, we can refresh the client to see what vSpace servers it can see on its network. We find a server and connect. When the client connects, notice that the entire user interface is new. We can enter our credentials and have a Windows 7 virtual desktop session running on the same old PC instantly. The user experience is the same as if customers were running their own local Windows PC. Now we'll try to run the same web applications using our Windows 7 virtual desktop session. Remember that these could not run properly earlier when we're using the Windows XP environment on the same old PC. Notice that Salesforce opens with no problems or warnings about having limited functionality because of our browser environment. Now, if we got done with our work and wanted to check out some concert videos, that experience looks like you would expect if you were accessing YouTube from your own PC. It really is that easy, and in just a few seconds, you have given this old PC a Windows 7 experience through vSpace Client for Windows.